Welcome to Belmont Center. I'm standing here at 55 Leonard Street in front of Stylish, Unique Pieces for Modern Homes. We're gonna learn more about this store on today's Belmont Business Spotlight. Come join me. What a gorgeous store. I'm so glad to come in and see all these unique pieces in one place. And I'm excited to bring to you the owner of this store, Silke Berlinhoff. I'm so happy to have this time to talk with you and to learn more about Stylish in Belmont Center. Tell us more about when you got started. Hi, Amy. I'm so happy to have you here today in this at the store. And um, yeah, so stylish. So I started stylish approximately th four years ago. And um, the store, like it is today, was opened one year ago in Belmont. And um, the main focus that stylish has is selling unique pieces, which means unique antique furniture, contemporary art, but also contemporary furniture from smaller artisans which are also some kind of unique um, because they are handmade and they are not like made in series. It's just unique pieces that they made one piece at a time. Uh, and how many artists would you say are featured in Stylish? I would say about, at the moment, we have about six artists from Europe, but also from the US, some even local to Boston and Cambridge. So we're working with local artists who um, like exhibit their pieces here with us and we sell them for them. And we have some contemporary um, art from Europe, from France, from Poland and from Germany. Um, and these artists send us their works. We sell it here for them, but we also have it on the website because our, let's say, main focus of the business is actually an online um, marketplace called stylish.com. And that's where you do most of your business, is online through sales? Um, I would say apart from the store in Belmont, which is really nice to have because then you have the personal contact to people, you can talk to people, they can see the things in person, which sometimes can be very important and still is. And um, then we have the website for customers who are not in the Boston area, but um, a couple of customers from New York City, sometimes even from Chicago or California. That's amazing. So do you have people that look at your website and look for certain art, certain artists that they follow? Yes, they are like a lot of the customers that we have online, but also in the store are interior designers. So interior designers are used to buy online. So mm -hmm. what they do, they um, source the pieces that they're looking for for their projects on websites. And sometimes they come to the store if it's a designer in the area. The designers from other cities, um, they um, buy mostly furniture, in this case, um, online and get images and condition reports and things like that from us. So how did you get into business doing design and bringing it to life in people's living rooms? So what I, well, I, I'm German, like I lived in Germany for like the first 40 almost 40 years of my no life. No one's aging you. <laughs> no one's aging me. And then we lived in um, Belgium for a couple of years and then we came to the US. And I was always, like, first of all, I must say that my fam my family has been in the antique furniture business um, like three generations back. Like my great grandfather started the business in the city of Heidelberg in Germany. And I grew up with antiques and art my whole life. Um, I studied art history in Europe, in Germany and in Italy and then was working also as an expert and auctioneer in Germany for a couple of years. 
I also did a TV show, like the antique road show thing, uh, in Germany for approximately four years as an expert for um, ceramics and furniture. And um, yeah, and then we came to the US and I continued, let's say after a little pause, because um, first I had to kind of get my kids to adjust to the US. <laughs> I have three kids. Um, and then I started to work here and I started importing mostly antique furniture at the beginning. And that's how I started the business in the US. And it grew because I had a lot of customers interested in these, let's say, unique European um, furniture pieces, which are not so easy to find here. Well, you've done a beautiful job cultivating it. I love walking through because it's actually museum quality pieces that you can touch, you can feel, you can see it, um, and they're really well done. How did you find your designers? You mean the the, the ones that design? create that that bring newer pieces to you? You like the contemporary designers, like the furniture designers. We have some contemporary furniture pieces here. Um, my business partner, Margot, who is now mostly living in Europe, that's why she cannot be here today, she um, found a lot of the contemporary furniture pieces from smaller artisans in Europe while traveling around. The antique pieces, um, this is what I've done my whole life. Um, we kind of sourced them in Europe, we refinished them in, in Europe, for example, this little city. Uh, is a French piece from the early 19th century, which has been refinished, reupholstered, and has a new fabric on it. And then we um, ship the pieces after the refinishing process to the US and um, yeah, present them here. Well, it's truly beautiful. How has your experience been here in Belmont Center? Well, uh, well I'm, I live in Belmont, so I, I really like Belmont. I enjoy being here. And um, it's just nice to have a store where you can meet people, where you can talk to people. And I had a lot of very interesting conversations here with people from Belmont, but also from Cambridge or other parts of the Boston area, which are just interested in hearing about the story and the history of each piece. And it's just nice to do that in person and not only on the phone or via email, which usually I have to do with the customers who are in New York or other places. And. Uh, well, the nice part about the antique furniture, which I always loved, is that you find one piece and this is it. You will not find the, another piece which looks exactly the same. So mm -hmm. each piece that you see is unique and there might be pieces that look a little bit similar because they were made in the same era, in the same time. But um, each piece is, is individually um, fabricated at that time and um, has yeah, individual designs and wood veneers or marquetries. And you mentioned your business partner. How did you guys find each other? Well, we've been, um, like before we started business, we uh, already knew each other from our Pilates class, actually. Oh, perfect. <laughs> not the one in Belmont Center. No, not the one in Belmont Center. And that's how we met and um, yeah. Well, we're so glad to find you here and we're so glad to bring your store to everyone's living rooms at home because it's so important to um, learn about businesses like yours and really appreciate the artists that you cultivate to bring here as well. So we're glad to have you in town. Thank you. Thanks for tuning in to today's Belmont Business Spotlight. I'm Amy Kirsch and it's been really fun learning with Silka about Stylish and Belmont Center. See you soon.